Here's Oogie. You caught me practicing my banjo. This is my newest musical skill I've been trying to learn. It has been really hard. A lot of practice. That's all right. I like things that take a lot of practice. I think it makes them more satisfying when it finally clicks, when you finally get it. This next craft I want to show you doesn't take a lot of practice to learn, but it does take a lot of practice to get it really precise. Let me show you what I mean. A scene change! Anyway, Waldorf window stars. This is what I want to show you. This is what we're going to make together. If you're watching this in the year 2020, around about April or May, and you are of Spring Garden Waldorf School in Copley, Ohio, there are kits outside the school on the dismissal block for you to pick up, which include everything you need to make two of these, as well as two cards to send to our senior friends at a couple of local senior living and care facilities uh, in and around Akron. This being the year 2020, round about April, May, uh, May 5th specifically, Giving Tuesday. Uh, Giving Tuesday historically earlier in the year, but was pushed back a little bit this year because of this wacky viral ballyhoo we got going on. The, one of the results of which has been some of our most precious and vulnerable members of the community uh, being really isolated in all of their senior living care facilities uh, in and around the place. So. Spring Garden has partnered with three of them so that we can mail stars and cards to the residents there to try and brighten up their day and say, hey, happy spring, miss you, hope you like these. Um, and they are a really nice, bright sort of little stained glass thing to go in a window. Uh, so looking at that kit, contained within you will find eight squares of kite paper for making the star written instructions for how to make the stars. Hopefully this video will help with that as well. Two pieces of cardstock for making your cards. And an envelope for mailing the things. And a piece of paper with some addresses on it telling you where to mail the things. So all those pieces are available for the picking up outside the dismissal square. And certainly, if you find yourself wanting to make more cards and more stars and send them, you can keep sending them to these senior centers. They are so excited to receive our stars and cards and distribute them to residents. And so, you go crazy. For this undertaking, you're gonna need eight squares of colorful kite paper. Essentially, wax paper that is colorful. If you have wax paper and you have crayons, you could color in some wax paper and make your own. Eight squares of kite paper and some glue. Glue sticks are tricky because they can tear the paper. It's a little fragile, so liquid glue used in moderation is would be my recommendation. The first thing I'm gonna do is make myself some guiding lines. I'm gonna fold my square long ways like that. Increase it with the back of my fingernail. Nice crisp edge. And then fold it again. Lightly crease. And then firmly crease. And then you unfold it. So you have these four lines like as a compass. Yeah. Then you're going to take each corner of your paper, each big corner, and fold them in toward the center. So. Now, we're gonna turn this shape into a diamond shape or a kite shape. Um, not why it's called kite paper, but kind of a funny coincidence. So this edge folds over and goes whoop, like so. This edge, oh. <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah. I like the shape of a kite or diamond, or however you think of it. Uh, I 
that's one. Do this eight more times. All right. Whoa. Eight points. Now, let's get to putting them together. You've got your little circle of kite babies. We're actually going to glue these with the opposite side facing. So let's start with the first two. Go. Uh, got a little green guy. And we want to glue this yellow one, knowing that we're going to be putting glue along here, along here, but on this side of the yellow. Yeah? So, go ahead and do that. Got my very German glue here. It's just like an Elmer's or something. You could use uh, anything which is a liquid. Okay. I'm gonna take that gluey edge and just lay it right down in my green. taking care to line up these corners here. Also, aha, these edges here on the back, see? You want that green edge to line up with the center of the yellow. Okay. So you want that nice crisp corner. All right, and then you do the next one. You really need very little glue for this. That was a little bit much I put on last time, kind of squished out, which is okay. Any glue that dries clear will be just fine for this. Now for this final one, I like to take, uh, well, of course we'll put a bit of glue right here, yeah, because we're gonna lower it onto the pink but I also would like it to be attached here. So I'm actually going to sort of fit it in there. See how it lines up. And then envisioning sort of where this line is on the green, just inside of that on the purple, I'm gonna make just a little line with my glue. So if I just push it up along that, it'll be that green edge. And then Star. Let's see it in the sunlight. Woo! Mm. Like stained glass. And that's that on window stars. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me or Rocky Lewis about any of the mailing or construction bits, and we'll be happy to help. And enjoy making your beautiful window decorations and enjoy sharing them with others who are really going to appreciate them. Take care.